Growing up in Jerusalem, in uh, southeast Jerusalem, actually on, on the 80s and the 90s, it's, it's, uh, very, it was very challenging, you know. As a very young kid, you are witness to, um, um, to the actual conflict. You see how the conflict is, is, is built, built up um, around the city. And it was, it was, you know, looking back right now, it was very rough. But beside the conflict, it, it was very, I had a really cool childhood, you know, um, uh, playing soccer all day. And that's pretty much what we did. We were playing outside from the morning till the evening um, all day. Um, urban city with, with actually great people. Um, had pretty nice childhood. Beside the conflict and beside these problems, it was pretty cool. Well, my, my parents are not related to art. They have got nothing to do with art. The word art never came up in my house. Um, my father, is a, he was a banker. Um, my mom used to work with kids. Um, and I, we, we were pretty close, yeah. But, but not, not in, in a way that we were talking like two, three times a day. No, no, no. Just once, twice a week. We updating each other on our life. Um, but yeah, nothing related to art. <laughs> well, it was, um, the first, I, I, I can talk about the first mural I had, not graffiti mural, um, in my house, actually it was a big, big wall in my bedroom. Finally, my parents let me paint something on the wall. Um, it was um, it was a horse with wings, and and somebody's riding the horse. It was bad. <laughs> it was well. I thought it was good, but um, but now when I'm you know I'm thinking about that, it it was a bad painting. Um, yeah, that was uh, pretty much the first time I took the painting very serious and not just like scrapping or sketching or I was really trying, um, you know, to make it good. Uh, back then it was good. I was, I was maybe what, 14? Uh, now looking bad, it was very bad. <laughs> I served at the Israeli army over four years, um, almost four and a half years. I was an officer. Um, totally impact my life. Everything I do today um, is, is, is the military some, somehow involved. Um, not in a direct way, but at the back door, the way I make decisions. So I have lots of anxieties and, and I'm pretty sure it's from there. I've never diagnosed for post-trauma. Um, I don't really dig too much about that. Um, I'm, I'm, I live with that, you know, in peace. Um, these impact my life definitely. I'm, I, I had a full, full project about my time in the military. It's called um, the article is called Unbreakable. My favorite painting um, called Funeral, um, and this is about uh, five friends that hugging each other in the funeral and crying. <clears throat> it's dedicated to my friend who got killed. Um, I can say that it's the, the craziest four years I've ever had so far. I've never had a decision to move to LA and to live in LA. Um, I was traveling in South America and, uh, and the plan was to come to LA just for part of my trip. And I met some few people and I decided to stay after like a few weeks. Just, you know what, that's my place. I want to stay here. I obviously painted right away. Not, not in order to make a career out of it, just, just for the fun. I had time, I had a lot of time. Um, and, and right away, like the first painting I, I, I painted, somebody wanted to buy it, and, and that's how I, I, I started to sell my work. Um, but, but Los Angeles, I just fall in love 
with the place as soon as I arrived here, but it was not a plan. It was not a plan to go to LA and make a career in LA. Get involved in the LA art scene, you know what? I, I, don't, I don't know how much I'm that involved. I, I, I know a lot of artists and I know a lot of people around, but I don't even live in, in the art scene area. Um, I live in the valley. It's not really artsy place. Uh, my studio is in Mid City, uh, which is pretty close to Culver City, and th that's kind of art district. Um, I don't know. I was I was just just painting, going to an art shows. If you call it being part of an art scene, okay. I don't I don't really understand how is it to be in the art scene. I'm just going to art shows visiting um, artists like just different friends who are, who are artists as well and that's pretty much it. Not, not trying to be part of any, any community or something. Well, transformation of darkness to art is obviously something I I'm in love with. Um, what's special about darkness with people is is that's the part people don't like to show. Um, I'll give you an example. You know, when 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 you shoot a model, um, you put makeup and you hide all the wrinkles and stuff like that. So in my art, I don't I don't do stuff like that. I don't hide any wrinkle. Um, that's why um, I, I usually go with with like take photos and paint older people um, because I can I can really feel um, their darkness uh, while I'm painting um, um, their face um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to to see what people don't like to show don't like to, to expose uh, one of the best I, I think one of my favorite paintings I've done is a um, gas mask. It's a two kids playing with cubes, you know, and they're wearing gas mask. Um, when I'm talking about dark, that's what I'm talking about. Um, darkness is the most interesting part that humans have. Lately, I do a lot of portraits. Um, I call them uncompleted. I like to paint just a little part of the face and to leave the rest of it um, a sketch or some dirty part. Or um, it's just like I'm I'm trying to show just some part of the face. Right, right here, actually, <laughs> behind me. Um, this is uh, my father. It's a portrait of him. And the other side is, is a, a photo of a friend. And here behind me, over there, it's a, another portrait of a musician that I really like. Um, obviously, we, we became friends and, and I took some photos of him and um, painted it. Um, I'm very into the uncompleted, which partial sketch and partial uh, painting. Thank you so much for uh, watching. I was Tomo Peretz at uh, my studio, Horror Studio. Check it out.